is going on everybody it's tg smooth back with some no man's L sky i i about said land i don't i don't know why it's just got more of a ring to it um and it's like an old saying uh anyways i hope you guys are having an awesome day i'm having a pretty good morning uh still out exploring the universe so today i thought i would do like five tips for you guys that are first starting and so here's tip number one once you get off your initial planet you spawn on um, you'll start going to other planets you'll find like these pillars with the orange beam coming out of them by like buildings or anywhere if you use um, go into your inventory and then go to your exosuit hit craft product square button and make a bypass chip you can hack it and then it will scan the planet for uh, certain things and one of those are a cargo drop now cargo drops are pretty awesome early on I'm about to show you what's in here but if you go in here and then hit square on this item it's a suit upgrade and you can go down here and buy it um, if you have enough units the the more you get so far it seems like the the more they cost um, so that's tip number one All right, and so tip number two as you can see here I'm on a planet with a lot of life forms So if you hold in L2 you'll be able to scan these and you can see I've already scanned these ones. Let's um, What about this big one over here? And I already scanned them so tip number two would just be to scan everything you possibly can um, and then whenever you hit the options button you can go in here and whenever you find new waypoints and stuff just um, hold square down on them and you will um, upload them yeah and same with the animals and plants and stuff down here and what happens when you upload them you get units for it which is your in-game currency and this counts for like any new plants or anything like that let's see if I, I got these guys alright I've already discovered them so I'm not really in a new area right now to be discovering stuff maybe this like cactus looking plant oh alright see so that's a new discovery right there maybe like this rock and then if you get lucky enough and you go into options and you go to the planet you're on um, you'll see like upload and receive this many units so if you find all the records in here that are in question marks you'll receive a huge huge amount of units um, so I think that's really kind of worth it because I know if you go to like uh, trading outposts and stuff and you see another ship fly in and it's a NPC you will be able to buy their ship uh, okay so that's it for tip number all right we're back in our ship now so the third tip I would give you guys is on your starship inventory and even when you get your exosuit a little bit upgraded to where you can carry more inventory then um, I would keep Thamium I think that's how you say it. I don't know I haven't brushed up on my periodic table before this game um, and plutonium and what this is going to allow you to do is keep recharging your launch thruster and your pulse engine. Uh, you'll need this more for inter interplanetary travel. Um, or not interplanetary travel, but like intergalaxy travel. And then your launch thruster, you'll need it for exploring the planets. Every time you boost off, it's 25% of that. Um, and you're going to be doing this quite a bit. Uh, as you can see here and then I don't believe like using your boost button the circle button while you're in the planet uh, takes too much of like your fuel so no worries there it's just when you're traveling out in deep space so just keep that in mind to keep a, a couple stacks of those with you just so you don't run out of that launch thrust and have to walk around and try to find plutonium because on some planets there's it, it's kind of scarce and I've ran into that problem where I had to walk uh, like 10 minutes away to go get some or to find some so that is it for tip number three 
All right, and tip number four, you can see I just got a restore point here. This is actually a, um, what would they call this? Uh, a shelter. Okay, so at these shelters and sometimes around like these landmark areas, you'll see these containers. You wanna grab any items out of there and you can go in these shelters. Hold on, let me walk around here. Alright, you can walk in these shelters usually, and there will be a thing on the wall right here. This is just pretty much your interface to for the Galactic Trade Terminal, and you can go in here and sell them items you just picked up. So you can see this Viking Dagger. Um, I can sell it, and it's just a good, easy way to get up your units early on. And you can see here, like, I can sell pretty much um, whatever they're accepting at that time. And you can also buy items. So, let's go ahead and look. Nothing really good. I have found a very rare material um, for, or, yeah, for sale, and I, I bought it. I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, you can see right here the Megon, Omegon. Yeah, so I bought that at one of these stations, and in these stations, there's usually an alien you can talk to. Um, here we go. And if you have um, good standing with them, they'll usually hook you up with something. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll share oxygen with them. and you get a little bit of credit sometimes so just keep that in mind as well um, that's tip number four so you know where to sell your items you don't have to keep going out to a space station they are actually on just about every planet so i hope that helps you guys and that's it for tip number four all right and here's the fifth and final tip probably not the most important one but all right, so space travel, it's a little tricky, um, but if you hold in the circle button, you go a lot faster, and then if you hold in L1 and R1, you go super fast, and you can see how fast it is now um, compared to just going, um, say, at boost speed. So you can see here, it would take me quite a long time to get there. Um, 20 some minutes and then if you use the pulse drive it's a minute and 30 seconds now um, and then the trick is once you start getting close is to slow down I'm probably gonna take a cut out of this clip and then um, whenever I get closer show you guys exactly how to um, enter the orbit a lot easier because it can be frustrating sometimes like the controls are just a little wacky for that, uh, so we'll take a real quick break and I'll BRB whenever we're close. Alright, and we're getting close to this planet now. I had a pretty good angle on it, so really all you gotta do is drive straight into it. And you guys can see it will instantly slow you down, and I love this planet right here by the way. Um, and I've been naming them after myself on the channel, so if you guys are wondering what's up with the name, um, that's what I've been doing. Uh, just kind of appreciate a, a, a thank you in my own way for the support they give me on the channel and stuff like that um, so that is the easiest way to get into a planet now um, what I was struggling with at the very beginning is I was going super fast so if I was off a little bit I didn't know to really like slow down um, but if you have a planet like you're trying to aim towards and you can't exactly turn then just slow down and just reposition your your cursor to the center of that planet and just drive straight into it but that's it for my five beginner tips for no man's sky i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to show your support and if you like the video and you like the channel then feel free to subscribe down below but as usual, guys, this is TG Smooth out, and remember to stay smooth.